Yo, what's going on, everybody? Hope you all are having a fantastic day today. Now, today we're going to be talking about a little Call of Duty 2020 evolving the beta that's going to be coming out for this video game. But before we hop into today's commentary, just want to quickly run this past you guys because every once in a while I like to mention this stuff in the beginning of the video because not everybody watches until the very end every single time, especially if you're a regular person who enjoys my content. You're more than likely not going to watch my outro 24-7. <laughs> So, I just wanted to mention this to you guys really fast. Don't forget, if you do want to chat with me or anything like that, you can follow me over on Twitter or on Discord. Both those links are in the description. I chat with you guys there, keep you guys updated on my uploads and when I'm going to live stream and when things are going wrong, if I can't upload or if I can't live stream one day. The best way to uh, be up to date is to follow me over on Twitter or on Discord. And also, if you do want to catch me live stream some video games, I do that over on Twitch every single day besides Mondays. And you can catch me over on Twitch at Man, and link to that is in the description as well but guys i actually made a commentary about this last year when the modern warfare beta came out i've got a lot of hate but i'm going to say the same exact thing in that commentary because i don't i don't mind the hate every once in a while i just feel like the rest of the community for call of duty is being mistreated when it comes to the beta just like last year and the year before exclusivity for consoles is a very hard thing to talk about because yes xbox did have the call of duty exclusive content for years and years and years and i think call of duty ghost is when they finally switched over to playstation 4 and they started giving sony the exclusive content so both sides have seen it both sides have dealt uh, dealt with it and i feel like at this time a lot of playstation players are still very cocky about it and they still think that, you know, it's like, oh, Xbox had it for so and so years, we deserve this. To be honest with you guys, we both had it for the same amount of time. And I'm not hating on PlayStation players because I was a PlayStation player for the longest time. I was one of those players who had exclusive content for years and years and years. I was on PlayStation until Call of Duty World War II when I finally switched over to the PC life. So yes, I've been on both sides. I know what exclusivity does to us. I know how annoying it is for both sides. And I just think it's something that just simply is not fair when it comes to the actual video game. Now, when it's tiny things like survival mode in Call of Duty Modern Warfare nobody cares about, or content drops and stuff like that, it depends on what it is. Now, like I said, if it's going to be something like survival, something that's not big, I don't really care. But when it comes to big aspects in your video game, whether it's a new DLC weapon, brand new maps that everybody's excited for, or most importantly, having your fans finally being able to play the beta, those things are very obnoxious when consoles or console companies like Sony and Microsoft step in and they start bidding for the highest price to get exclusivity over Call of Duty. Yes, it's good for the consoles, and to be honest with you, Microsoft probably does not give two craps that Sony has exclusive, you know, beta access, early beta access for Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War probably doesn't even phase them with how much money Microsoft actually has. But for the fans, the core fans, the people who don't own these massive corporations and the everyday person who goes to work every single day and just wants to come home and relax a little bit, you know, we are being thrown under the bus a little bit, I would say. Because we can't get instant beta access when it comes to Call of Duty games for both sides. It doesn't matter if it's just Xbox now that can't get into it. It was also Sony back then. It was both sides had to deal with this. And it's just simply not fair because when a new Call of Duty game comes out, everybody's excited. Everybody wants to try this video game out, especially for content creators like myself, YouTubers, and Twitch streamers. We're always excited to try out new things. We're always try excited to try out new games. And especially for Call of Duty channels like myself, being able to play, you know, the brand new Call of Duty game is a very big deal for our channels. Now, a lot of people are probably going to say, JB, buy for PlayStation. Stop complaining. You're a YouTuber. You probably make so much money. You could just buy it on PlayStation and you can play the beta then and then play it on PC when it comes out for you guys. Listen, guys, I, I'm, I'm not some massive famous YouTuber. I don't make millions of dollars off of YouTube. And even though the video game is only 60 bucks, so if I were to buy two copies, it'll be $120. That's still a decent amount of money coming out of my own pocket from my hard earned money that I worked for. It's just simply not worth it in the long run. I'm just a casual guy who loves to casually play Call of Duty, who picked up a hobby of making YouTube videos, and this is what I enjoy doing. You know, it's not like it's my full-time job. It's not like this thing pays me a fortune. It's nothing too serious. So for me to put in an extra 60 bucks just to play a week early for the beta is just something that I am simply not willing to do because of the fact, like I said, it's just not fair for the whole community. 
we as Call of Duty fans love this video game. We love this franchise, and for a lot of us, it's the only game that we will really play. Now, for me, I branched out eventually. I finally went out and I played other video games, I enjoyed other things. But for a lot of players, Call of Duty is the only game that they actually enjoy. And that's fair enough, you know, it's a very specific experience. It's a fast-paced arcade shooter that not many other games can imitate. All the other FPS games are either tactical, like Rainbow Six Siege, Valorant, or they're more, you know, warlike, more military feels, mil military vibes, like Battlefield or, you know, Arma and stuff like that. And then you have Call of Duty, which is basically one of a kind. There's other games like Call of Duty, but they're not made by AAA development studios. They're not top-notch when it comes to the movement and the gunplay and stuff like that. They're very basic average video games, so they can't really compete with this title. So I understand why a lot of people love to only play Call of Duty. It's extremely understandable. And as a community, as one, especially when it came to Call of Duty Modern Warfare, it has been so much better having all the content drop at the same time, have everything come out at the same time for everybody. You know, it was better for all the YouTubers, it was better for all the Twitch streamers, and it was better for all the people who are actually playing this game. Because now that crossplay is implemented into the Call of Duty franchise, now we can play with Xbox players and PS4 players and PS4 with PC or Xbox with PC. You could play with absolutely, and having the content drop at the same exact time makes it better for us. Because could you imagine with crossplay, having PS4, have exclusive maps a week before Xbox and PC could get it and then when you try to cross play with your friends you can't cross play because you don't have the map packs yet so it's going to cancel out a bunch of lobbies and kick you guys and make matchmaking absolute hell you know it's just it's just not right for this video game to have any exclusive content and then when the beta drops you have to understand the hardcore fans love your video game they love it to death. There's people, like I said, who play this title every single day. It's the only video game they actually enjoy. And to only allow a specific console to play it a week early and then disown the rest of the people is really cold-hearted in my personal opinion. You know, I understand exclusive content, or not exclusive content, I understand exclusive video games. When a development studio partners up with one of these uh, big, you know, corporations like Microsoft or Sony, and they make a video game exclusively for the content so that video game can only be purchased on PS4 or only be P uh, purchased on Xbox One. That's completely understandable, because then it's no, you know, mix-ups, there's no people on this side saying, oh, they want to play with this side as well and can't play together because the maps aren't out for each other, where the beta is coming out earlier for this console and it's not out just yet for them so they can't play with their friends because it's not, it's none of that nonsense. You buy it on the one console and you call it quits. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, I know I'm going to get hate from all the Sony fanboys. It, it's whatever, man. I understand. You guys can live it up. Enjoy it while it lasts. Who knows? Maybe Xbox one day will decide to purchase Call of Duty again and then you guys will have to wait and then you guys will be complaining again as well. Like I said, I just don't think it should be in the game at all. If they want to have exclusive content for a Call of Duty video game, they should just exclusively make the game for one console. I don't agree with any of this, you know, this console paid this much money so they get to play the game this much earlier than everybody else type bullcrap. And it just doesn't sit well with me. It's very, very disrespectful to the rest of the community, especially all the people who love your game to death. And you're making it very unfair for a lot of content creators to the point where only the very big content creators who get paid a bunch of money from this, you know, doing what they do, can purchase a bunch of different consoles and purchase another PlayStation so they can purchase a game and drop $800 just so they can get early access to the video game. And then the rest of us just have to, you know, kind of suck it up and go through it. But I'll do it again, man. I did it last year. I'll do it this year. It's not that hard. I'll just grind through it. Maybe one of my homies could hook me up with some gameplay, whoever's playing on PlayStation. I can talk about it. I can, you know, look at it. It's just very hard to discuss it, you know what I'm saying? Without being able to physically play it, it's very hard to come up with any topics or ideas. That's usually how I get my, you know, ideas for any of my commentaries, is by actually doing it or seeing it or playing it. Then I can finally, you know, form something together, but I think I should still be able to do it. But guys... Make sure you go down in the comment section and leave your opinions down below. Do you agree with me? Do you think that this exclusive content for Call of Duty should just be completely stripped out of video games and just make it fair for everybody? Or do you think that it's fine with Sony only making, you know, having their exclusive content for PS4 only and then, you know, Xbox and PC have to wait an extra week or two or even a month when we're talking about map packs and stuff like that. Whatever your personal opinion is, make sure you leave it down in the comment section. Like I said, if you want to hate on me, you can hate on me. 
I've, I've played on PlayStation my whole life, so you can't call me a hater on Sony. I love PlayStation. I've always chosen PlayStation over Xbox. I just don't think it's right. Even when I was on PlayStation, I still didn't think it was right. You know, we, we as one are the Call of Duty community. Whether you're on Xbox, PlayStation, PC, even a freaking Nintendo product, it doesn't matter what you play Call of Duty on. If you enjoy Call of Duty, you enjoy Call of Duty, and we should all be treated the same exact way. You guys leave a like if you enjoyed today's video and a dislike if you hated it. If you're brand new and you enjoy the content, don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell notification button. Also, if you want to chat with me, you can follow me over on Twitter or Discord. Link to those are down in the description. And also, if you want to catch me live stream, I do that over on Twitch. Link to that is in the description as well. Guys, thanks so much for tuning in, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace out.